All right, today we're messing around with Ableton 11.3's MPE functionality, which is a MIDI polyphonic expression, which means that controllers like the Seaboard that have extra dimensions of expression, you can push into the keys, you can slide them. That's all natively integrated into Ableton now, including some of their soft synths. Now, I wanted to jump in and try the new one, Drift, but trying to just load up a bunch of them, they're not all, either they're not all perfectly set up right off the bat for MPE, or I just don't know how to get them set up. But luckily, there is a whole bank here of MPE-ready sounds, some of which use Drift and some of which use uh, Wavetable. I think that's what it's called, Wavetable Synth. Um, so this is this is very much going to be for if you really are like if you're like me and you're not really that savvy with tweaking synths and you're more of like hey this preset sounds nice I will make a song out of it or I'll tweak it like just a little bit to get what I want out of it and so in this case polyphonic controller I don't know what the hell you do with it but if you have a C board you go to your preferences and your devices and you go to the C board rise track remote and MPE. Uh, and I was having some trouble getting it to do all the stuff. I don't know if it was because I didn't have remote on. I saw someone else said they used that, so whatever. Everything's working now. I don't know why. It's just now it does, so that's good. Uh, this little icon here basically builds out all the stuff in it. Here, let me, let me get my camera a little more out of the way for now. You can see that these are like the macro controls here. What's really good for me to see, so I know what the hell, like if the stuff I'm doing is what it's doing exactly, there's a little M MPE control panel here that you can open up and will actually directly show you what the various uh, dimensional controls are doing. So I I'm, I'm kind of more used to this because I have some experience with the Equator synth that came with my uh, Rolly Seaboard. I don't have Equator 2 because they want me to pay for it and... I, it, and So you can see with this one, the press dimension is just the actual pushing in of the, uh, I guess they're called key waves. They're like squishy keys. And you can remap what all those do, uh, but uh, these synthesizers are very complicated, and uh, I am very much enjoying using the presets for now. I did get... My saxophone sample's working again, finally. Hooray. Because um, I had some trouble. I had them working great, and then after this update, I couldn't get the stuff to map right again. But now it is. Let's explore drift and wavetable synths with polyphonic expression, mostly using these uh, presets. There are some other... Uh, like, I don't know. Some of them I opened up, and they, and they did stuff. But they usually didn't use all the dimensions, and so, like, almost anything will use the press dimension and kind of just treat it as aftertouch. But I want more than that, and I always, like, like the, the saxophone one was doing that too, but I wanted to be able to, to slide it up to get the growl and use a little bit of a pitch bend to, to add just natural expression. As a guitar player, I like to be able to do, like, natural, natural vibrato vibrato just shaking the pitch with my finger on this because it just feels natural to me coming from a guitar is one of the reasons i love the seaboard uh and i'm a very mediocre uh, keyboard player uh so you got slide here but i'll show you you can map these dimensions to all kinds of crap all kinds of different stuff and i'm not gonna get too deep into that right now because it's a lot, but, uh... All right, let me come up with an alternate little beat here, because some of them are really good for something kind of quicker, but then some of them are kind of slow and atmospheric like this, which is great, but it doesn't work with the little shuffle beat I put together. Now let's get like a bass sound.
I got I gotta know what the dimensions do. one's drift so it's uh, the the little mp control box is part of the wavetable sin drift doesn't have that which is probably one of the reasons i was more quickly confused by it and the main function in drift is supposed to be this actual drift parameter here which is supposed to create uh variations between the two oscillators supposed to simulate like a an old analog synth imperfections i think but it could
Oh yeah, this is probably the best uh, when it actually gives you this uh, MPE matrix. The MPE matrix here that shows uh, each parameter that each dimension of expression controls. That's pretty cool. You can see the filters controlled different degrees by both slide and press. The FM pitch is controlled by slide, but slide does a lot on this one. to shuffle though. <laughs> so you can see I can uh <clears throat> if my playing is too off and I and I'm not getting the pitches right, I can just turn the uh pitch bend parameter down or off. And it's not less of an issue. It's, it's wide. It, there's less of a. Can't really do the vibrato shake anymore. But it's good if I want to use slightly more piano like playing. <laughs> 